All right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss. Uh, we'll further into limit laws and now look at the proof of the difference law. And basically, this is law two of the limit laws overview video, which I did earlier. You've seen the video link below. Basically, this just states if you have limit as x approaches a of fx minus g of x, or the difference between these two, then you're just going to get equals to limit as x approaches a of fx minus limit as x approaches a of g of x. And this can be stated in, in words, basically it's called a difference law, and it states the limit of a difference is the difference of limits. Yeah, I just added the s right now. But uh, anyways, now to prove this one here, this is actually, we could just apply uh, law 1 and law 3, which I went over in my earlier, earlier videos. And now I've written down these laws, also this uh, exactly what I just said earlier. Basically, the proof for this one, we're going to use law 1, the sum law, and law 3, constant multiple law, which I proved these in my earlier videos, so you can see them in the description for the video links for the those videos. Basically, law 1 is, a, is the sum law, and it's similar to the difference law, so now we have a, a plus instead of a minus in this one we're just gonna have this uh, limit as of this sum is gonna be a sum of limits and uh, the proof of this uh, once again is in the video link in the description so we're just gonna use these because we've proven these before and now law 3 is a constant multiple law if you have limit as x plus a of c fx then you just take the constant c out of there and it'll be outside here so we'll use these I'll show you how soon so basically we're going to write down our uh, proof and basically write down this difference of the this limit of a difference in terms of a sum. So we could just rewrite it as limit as, as x approaches a of now f of x plus uh, negative 1 times by g of x. So this is exactly the same thing. We're just rewriting it now. And now what we could do now if we apply the sum law and that sum law is law 1, so if we just apply it to this one here, because it's a plus now, so now we just break up these two limits into a sum of limits right now. Or, or yeah, so then we have this one right here, limit is as x part a of fx plus limit as x part a of negative 1 times g of x, and now from this one right here we could apply the law 3. So, so we apply law 3, but c now is equal to negative 1. So this is our constant here. So that's the only difference right here is we have a value for c, which is the constant. And now we can just take that out and we're going to get, yeah, we're going to get limit as x approaches a of fx plus now this constant we took it out, which is negative 1. Uh, negative 1 times by limit as x approaches a of g of x. And now whenever you're plusing a negative, it's it's just going to be a minus now. So this is exactly a difference. Yeah, and basically now we just uh, just write it down as this, and this is our proof. And I'll just write down proof here. So we just proved uh, the difference law, and basically this the limit of a difference is the difference of limits right now. So that's all all it is right here. And well, that's uh, all for today. Just want to do a, just just a quick uh, proof for this uh, difference law. Now you can download these notes and Dropbox link below. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.